Plus concerns tonight over a highly contagious strain of COVID-19 and how it could impact California's big reopening tomorrow. Good evening, I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. As it spreads rapidly overseas, we wanted to know what is it about this Delta strain that has health officials so worried? We're joined now by Dr. John Swartzberg. He's an infectious disease expert at UC Berkeley. Dr. Swartzberg, thank you so much for joining us this evening. You're welcome. What, tell us about this new Delta variant. What do we know about it and how is it different from the other variants that have been here already? Well, it first was noted in South Asia and it caused havoc in India and it's then spread to other parts of South Asia and Southeast Asia. And then at the same time, it spread to the United Kingdom. And we, we've seen scattered cases here uh, throughout the spring. The properties of this virus that concern us so much are really two. One, there's no question that it's far more transmissible than anything we've dealt with. For example, the dominant strain that had been with us for a long time was replaced by the alpha strain, the strain that began in the United Kingdom, which was around 40 or 50% more transmissible than the dominant strain. This particular strain, the Delta strain, is probably 40, 50% or, percent or more transmissible than the alpha strain. We're talking about maybe 100% more transmissible than the strain that we really, strains we really dealt with over the much, much of the last year. So that's a real big concern. There's one other concern um, that isn't as well established yet, and that is that it may be more virulent. By that, I mean it may cause more serious illness, more hospitalization, more death. Now, again, I want to emphasize that that data is more preliminary. Um, so the main thing is we've got a much more transmissible strain on our hands. So what do we know about the presence of this new Delta variant here in California, and how concerned are you about it becoming the dominant strain here? Well, it's, it's here. It's been here for a while. We didn't see any of, any of it early in the, in the uh, spring and none in the winter. But then um, in March, we saw just a rare uh, examples of it, April, more, May, more and now June even more. So it's clearly growing. We're right around 6% of the variants that we've found now are this Delta strain. When you look nationally, it's doubling. It looks like it's doubling nationally about every two weeks. So although the numbers are low here in California and still low in nationally, around 10% perhaps, with it doubling every 10 weeks, we're talking about exponential growth. Right. And that's what's very disconcerting. If you, if you look at the alpha strain that emerged here in the United States really in, in the winter and became very prominent and now is the dominant strain here in California, um, this is very similar now in June, what we saw in February and March and April with the alpha strain. So um, we're keeping a very close eye on this and we're very concerned. Yeah, I mean, tomorrow is California's big reopening. A lot of folks anxious for things to get back to normal. Given what you just told me, what's your perspective on that? Are we ready to ditch the masks and reopen everything or is it too soon? Well, um, we're going to be ditching the masks. Um, that's pretty clear. Um, and yes, and just this morning, uh, people read, as I did, that the United Kingdom decided to delay their, their opening for another month. So um, it's, we're not opening it at the ideal time. Certainly, if this Delta virus wasn't around, I would be very enthusiastic about everything we're doing in reopening. As it is, I'm um, cautiously optimistic about the reopening tomorrow. I, for one, am going to um, take small steps as opposed to a giant leap tomorrow. That is, when I'm outside, I'm not going to wear a mask. When I'm inside, if everybody's vaccinated that I'm with, I'm, wear I'm not going to wear a mask. But if I don't know whether people are vaccinated or not, I'm still, in wor still wearing a mask inside tomorrow. Better to be safe than sorry. I mean, talking to somebody could be sitting at home thinking, well, I'm fully vaccinated. Should I be worried about this Delta variant? You know, not much. The good news is that our vaccines do handle this variant quite well. Mm -hmm. Not as well as the dominant, previously dominant strain and the current dominant strain, but still quite well. So, you know, if you're fully vaccinated, your risks are really quite low. Um, 
I'm being perhaps too cautious. But if you're not vaccinated, or if you've only had one of the two jabs, your risks are very significant. And that's the group that I, frankly, I really worry about. If you're not vaccinated, if this Delta strain takes off, it's gonna go to you. You're the one who's gonna get infected. You're the one who may wind up in the hospital and you're the one who may die. It's just another very important argument in the long line of arguments for getting vaccinated against SARS-CoV-2. Mm -hmm. Dr. John Schwartzberg, thank you so much for joining us.